Hey there everyone, it's Grimes here again, Lee Ramage Gamers, and welcome back to Kenshi. Sorry about the late upload there, but I got around to it. <laughs> it's going up maybe, you know, on Tuesday, I apologize. Tuesday night. Morning. Whatever. Anyway. So we are back in Kenshi, and we are uh, currently continuing our construction of our base. We've got quite a bit to build still. We got a lot of the uh, stuff we want to build laid down. Uh, we just haven't, you know, finished building it all. So as you can see here, we have uh, in that saloon on the left where a majority of our people are currently. That's where we're going to be putting uh, a lot of our um, fabric and leather and kind of armor crafting benches, things like that. And then on the right here, right by the gate, I'm going to decide, uh, I'm deciding that's where I'm going to put the store. And so that's hopefully where all the traders will be able to come in. So hopefully that should work out. Um, of course, we need to upgrade our walls and continue with our research. So I'm probably going to need to sit down one of these days and uh, just let all the research run again so that way we can get right back to the building part of this uh, series. But... Um, uh, yeah, things are going alright. We just need to keep building, uh, get everything done here. I'm thinking we probably are going to need to do a, another run to either a town or something like that, uh, or just explore a bit and find some bandits and drag those guys over to town and sell all their stuff. Um, so that way we can buy a bunch of blueprints because I'm pretty sure you also need blueprints for the armor crafting stuff, and we've got a ton of workbenches now. We just can't craft anything, which is, you know, mildly depressing. <laughs> we've got all these shiny things, but nothing to do with them, and we've got all of these other shiny things, but nothing to build with them. So, um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some more money here shortly. First, let's get up the, the infrastructure set up, though. So I'm going to put one of these chests down here. So that way we can uh, have storage for everything. I imagine that while we're researching, I'm going to be producing quite a bit of everything. Since we have quite a few people in our group right now, we can do a lot of multitasking, especially with all the upgrades we've done. There's a lot less people required when it comes to our um, stone mine, a lot less people when it comes to our uh, refinery and things like that. So I can now allot them to other tasks. That said, we also have a huge stockpile of construction materials, so I might not put anybody on construction materials at all. And I'll just have everybody either farming or getting iron. Um, the iron, of course, is for the uh, weapons, and I don't think we have plate armor yet in-game, so far as I'm aware. Uh, could be coming in another update or some point, or maybe there is, and I just uh, don't have the blueprints for it. To create it which is a very real possibility blueprints are kind of like what this game hinges on now once you get all of these um workbenches built and you've done all this research you need to get those blueprints or else you can't do anything with them and you have basically just wasted resources so uh lucky for us that we have quite a stockpile of goods that we can sell in terms of uh armor and things like that but while we sorted out we got quite a few people uh armored up we still have a lot left over that we can go and sell at some point, um, which is always nice uh, to have that stockpiled armory. We also need to train some of our people. Like, we cannot fight for our lives. Like, <laughs> if a bandit squad comes around, we will be screwed. So that's just a little, little worrying that we can't defend ourselves. So I've set up, uh, I've already set the automations for these guys. So we have people working on the iron mines. We have somebody working on the hemp farm so we can get good fabric. Uh, we have a few people, of course, working on the regular wheat fields. So that way we can have somebody on the rum still and we can produce that trade good. Of course, we have somebody on the workbenches or research benches because research is good and we need it. Uh, <laughs> Luckily, one thing you don't need blueprints for is the upgrading of our walls and the crossbow crafting, which is rather important for the protection right now. Um, since you saw those bandits just kind of broke down the door and stormed in, we couldn't do anything. But once we put crossbows up, we'll be able to pick them off while they bang on our door. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to upgrade the door, or at least, you know, the walls or something like that. I haven't seen them attack the walls, and I don't think it's coded in yet for, for them to attack the walls. Though I know that's coming in an update at some point. I mean, there's a reason the walls have health. So these makeshift walls simply will not do. We need to get some real sturdy walls up. Uh, and then we can actually mount crossbows on them. I don't think you can put crossbows on these makeshift walls, so... 
We're gonna need building materials for that, but I mean, first we gotta research it, so it's a good idea now to just stockpile uh, as many resources as we can, especially for the blueprints that we will soon get so that way we can upgrade our gear. What we lack in skill, hopefully we can make up for in technology and gear, because I mean, we might not be able to hit anything, but if they can't hurt us with all of their many hits, then we should be fine. So let's just put heavy plate armor on everybody so they just kind of roar and take the hits and then miss. But hey, we'll be alive, right? That's, <laughs> that's, that's the point here. We'll be alive and we won't be passed out on the ground after like two seconds of fighting. Ugh. Yeah. We just don't have any luck. Of course, that's probably just the group I've started out with. I mean, you can start out with groups that do have fighting skill. It's just we did not start with that. We started with a group that was good at building things and researching. And then we had the old soldier who's kind of useful, but not really. So uh, I sent myself a grime stone over to um, work on that fabric loom. And hopefully we can produce some, uh, some armor. I think the only thing I can produce right now though is merchant leathers, and I'm not sure anybody needs that, considering our recent uh, encounters with all those bandits. I'm not sure we're going to need any of that. Uh, and we do need blueprints for the weapons, of course, so yeah, just scrolling through here, you see I can make traders leathers, g-pants, bandana, which of course we're going to make, because bandanas are cool, uh, and then cargo pants, uh, so nothing that really gives you armor except for the trader stuff. Um, now, there is a few more things here, rag shirt, loincloth, none of this is really useful, I mean, you spawn with better stuff than some of this, although I guess you can sell it, so I guess that's the trade-off there, and I guess if you are rather skilled, you can make high-quality stuff, because I noticed there is a quality system in game now, like, for instance, we found some armor that was poor quality and was, you know, worthless, it wasn't worth anything, and it was useless to use. So if, that, if there's a quality system in game now, that means we could, if we get our skill up on the crafting, we could be able to um, craft some really high value stuff from uh, low value materials um, and turn quite a large profit given the opportunity. So uh, it's a good way to get your skill up is just crafting those, you know, many old things like that. Like, oh, I'm going to craft a bunch of pants that are totally worthless, but hey, it's going to get my skill up so that way when I produce something of that's going to be useful, it's going to be high quality. So it's a good grinding thing for skills there. Um, and I, I think I did that on the last series with weapons as well. I just had, uh, I think it was Keeman was our uh, resident uh, swords master. He uh, did a lot of, uh, just made a bunch of like crap weaponry before we started unlocking the good stuff. And I just had him build a bunch of good weaponry. Of course, then we built everything, so uh, that series kind of ended because we had to update and that broke everything. But, you know, alpha is alpha, right? And we got more features. And I've got more stuff to do. Walls that actually work, this is wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go, we have him set now to the crafting bench uh, to go craft some stuff. I guess uh, I will be the resident uh, armor crafter for our group. Yeah, uh, no fabrics. Huh? Where did the fabrics go? Uh, I bet somebody has them in their persons. Or they put it in a storage chest, maybe? Maybe it's not automated for this yet, because he's not grabbing the fabric that he produced. Huh, that's strange. Is it still in the loop? No? Did you get put in the chest? No. Oh, shoot, where is it? Did, did we not produce? Fabric? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, it went into the other workbench. Uh, uh, whatever. Let me just put that in your inventory there. Oh, no, he ran away. What? What? Where did, why did he go outside? What? Pathing. A little bit off still. But, uh, oh well, whatever. We, can, we got the job done. Right? Uh, Alright, so we're crafting, and we need to do some research, we need to do some building, so... I think this is going to be a shorter episode, uh, just for that reason that we still have a lot to do here, and it's probably not going to be too interesting, but uh, we have a sit rep. We know what we need to do, we know what we need to accomplish, we know what we've accomplished, so I guess we just finished up building everything this episode, though. that was good. Everything's done, we have all the armor benches done, we started crafting some armor, uh, so we're going to lock grindstone to the production of... Um, cloth armor, things like that, rather than research. 
Uh, of course, we'll have everybody else producing the required materials to create the armor and things like that. Um, and we'll see about farming up some other things. So next time we come back, hopefully, we'll be have progressed quite a bit more. I'll be able to sit down and do a lot of research and uh, go purchase some blueprints. Well, maybe I'll make the blueprints an episode, a trip an episode as well, because who knows what could happen on the trip. Uh, we could find some uh, more bandits, which is always exciting. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably just uh, skip ahead here after this episode to when I've researched another block of technologies, and we can proceed Tier 3 all the way through it, upgrade all these walls, get everything going here, sell some of this rum that we're producing. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a party tonight, everyone. Hey, look at that. Look at that inflation on 117%, and that's good. We can go sell that for quite a bit at any town is what that means. Also, I, you know, I should probably, yeah, let's put it in here. Let's see if any traders come by. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll see any, some traders come by next episode as well, or I'll make sure to record that if any traders come by, because I have yet to see traders come by, but I heard and I looked on the forums, traders do run around. I just haven't seen them. I have been incredibly unlucky when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know why. But, of course, that might just be because I never really update, and when I do, I try to keep my old save, and <laughs> that probably breaks things. Because you're probably not supposed to do that in an alpha build. Because things get changed. So, yep. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe we'll see him this time. So thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out some of my other series. Uh, quick update on Landmark. I was going to do a video on it. But I couldn't. I, I, I did a video on it and I looked at it and I was just like, I'm so, it was so... There's nothing to do for me. I wasn't interested, and I'm not a very entertaining person to begin with, but when I'm not having fun with the game, I, I just can't. The game, the, the video would not be good, and I, it doesn't do the game justice, probably, so I'm just not going to do a video on Landmark until there's something else added. Um, I also really don't know too much about it, so I should probably just get some more uh, knowledge about it. Um, I did get quite a bit of footage in though for the Kenshi mission, or not Kenshi Mishinima, the Arc Age Mishinima, and of course we will be continuing with Arc Age videos uh, later on today, I suppose, uh, since it is now Tuesday at the time of this video going up. So we will continue with Arc Age and then Hearthstone I will download and we will get that new update going I'll start recording that. So quite a bit up on the schedule here with school ending, so I'll have a lot more time to do stuff like this and uh, sit down and just do that block research. So uh, thanks for watching everyone, sorry for the kind of short episode, but hey, next one will be long and we'll be able to do quite a bit. So thanks for tuning in.